All right, guys. Top tier, you go here with Steven Outley, a second who's got top 16 at ARG Richmond. How'd you do this weekend? Uh, I did pretty well. I only lost once. I went in at X1, got seventh place after Swiss, and then top 16, I just I lost. You know, spiral, did spiral stuff, game one, and then miscalculations and like game two. So we got to. It was all right though. We still got there. What was your loss in Swiss to? Uh, my top 16 opponent, Spiral. Go second right. Spiral, that's what people play. Let's get into deck profile. Alright, sweet. Uh, so we are playing just everything like here standard. Uh, three Joker. Three Harmonizing. Uh, sorry. Three Wisdom I. Three Double Wires. Three Purple Poison. Three Black Bank. Two Oak Dragon. Persians is really important. Two uh, Sorcerer. Just seems like the correct number. Uh, one Astrograph. It just helps push for game and then you kill your opponent. And then, like, whenever they, like, sleep for your scales, you can just Astro and then, like, still, like, keep playing. Uh, this play more of it going forward? Um, when the Electro Mike comes out, yes. Uh, this is the MVP of the day. Sidewalker. Um... Because the meta right now is go second spiral, so they always tell you to go first. And if you open this, you just call super agent, and they actually just lose. Uh, even against other matchups, it's just, you just know what you're playing against. You just skillfully call things. Sometimes, like if my hand says mostly search cards, like with normal summon call Ash, uh, it just forces forces strikes, forces gamblers. It was just really good all day. Uh, three Ash, standard, and then two draw awkward, and then the maxi. How was Droll Free this weekend? Uh, it was very so far. It should have been other things, like these cards, to do this. To, to do this and go replace yeah, because this is just definitely better. Because the thing was, the thing about this is, like, even if you open this and, um, you know, they hand trap it, you can at least set and, like, stall your turn, because these cards will do that for you. Uh, do you want to go side extra? Uh, I just got spells and traps on Oh, yeah, true, the rest of the day. Alright, uh, two of the trap. One pendulum call, one star. Uh, I only played two duels lines, I played two five desires. Uh, the reason because is that I wanted to really focus on just going first. And then, also, like, when you draw these cards in multiples, it's just bad. You want every card in your hand to be able to do something, because spiral is just so overwhelming. And then that's right. the main deck. Let's go through the side next. Okay, cool. Side deck, uh, triple mind crush. We play it just so we don't get evenly matched, and just for other interactions. One prohibition. It's just a fourth side blocker. I didn't want to like play more than one because I didn't want to open multiples and just not be able to pin summon. Uh, two cost of cyclone. Uh, just going against you know. I'm not gonna say tricks are maybe spiral anti spell. I don't know, any road deck can play an anti spell. Uh, three Chaos Hunter. I never played Trickstar. This is essentially was four. Trickstar and the Infernoid deck. Because you just get this out and Infernoids can't do anything. You just lose. Uh, triple Wavering for Mirrors. I actually played a couple Mirrors. The cards always clutch. And then Triple Cherries. How was this card this weekend? It was against... Judge Nyko Ramirez up to the front, please. Judge Nyko Ramirez up to the front. It was a par. Like, I always felt like... Anytime like I use this, like it won me like a couple of games. Anytime like this, like got out Deco Talker, did quick fix things, and still killed me anyway. So this probably could have just been like something better. I don't know what it would have been. Uh, extra deck, Star and Venom, also MVP. Um, they cop like you just make this makes all your monsters fierce. You can also copy side block or anything on their board. Plays around floodgate too. Uh, yep, you just make sure they floodgate you. And you're just like, okay, contact, make this, and it's great. D1 Deco Talker, uh, the standard. Uh, double Helix, this is my only Terry's target. On a caustic condition, this is really good. Because uh, it, it interacts with the scales, and it's just one, you can't you really want to commit to this, because sometimes like you don't have enough, you just want to do this and go with some plays. One Tornado Dragon, one Abyss Dweller, one Trapeze Magician. One Supreme King Dragon Rebellion. I play two Vakuska. This was actually just really good all day. The theory with this is like, you make Vakuska and you stall them, 
and then you immediately go to decoy talker, and if you don't kill them for whatever reason, they hand traps. You have a second one to reset the uh, set the stall, but you have like more stuff on board. One time storm edition. Uh, one Ignisuk. One Stardust is really good in the mirror, and it's also just good against Spiral. Uh, I never really came up, but when you have this, and they just attempt to try um, to pop your stuff, like it doesn't get over tough. The stuff doesn't know, but it does get over uh, Super Agent. Uh, one Lightning Vortex Dragon, I never played it, but I still would keep it in, and then one Omega, because I can just recover itself and great. Why not play two Omega? Because, I mean, we're in a format now where, like, it's too many hand traps, and then doing, like, you're committing way too many resources doing double Omega, and then making the boost go where they can just get over it anyways. So I'd rather just do this, get information, normal some side blocker to make the correct call, and then uh, use my list stuff to, to go into the boost game. Alright, you got any shout outs? Uh, shout outs, the so first shout outs to, you know, Car Stop Gaming, my locals, uh, Thomas Henry. Uh, helped me out, drove me here. Uh, great shout out to him and uh, Super Gaming. Just recently joined. All these guys are great. Three Starbucks, grocery game members. Yes. Six and top. Yes. And Cookout. Hopefully he brings that. That's just. But uh, yeah, just shout out to the ARG for allowing me the opportunity. And I'm really excited for Electro Might to come out. So this way, this deck can be ignorant. All right. Let's see you, Top St. Louis. Top three of you signing out. Fire, a sapphire